the central banking system that has the ability to add and subtract credit, add and, sub add and subtract dollars and money at will to create this roller coaster effect. Because unlike most people, the, the banks are able to make profits as easily on the way down as they can on the way up in any given situation. Volatility is great for banks and professionals. Volatility is not great for the, uh, the most, uh, most average people. Hi folks, we're back. This is Cutting Through the Matrix, and this world we live in isn't really a pleasant world. We have the Disney world view of it because we've, we've been trained to view things from a Disney perspective. But here's an article here that really exemplifies this. It says, healthcare scoring for the dead pool. This is the term of it, the dead pool. Hedge funds, betting on how long you will live. This is the... Uh, a, sol this is a, a solution, a bond made up of life settlements would ideally have policies from people with a range of diseases, leukemia, lung cancer, heart disease, breast cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's. That's because if too many people with leukemia are in the securitization, uh, securitization portfolio and a cure is developed, the value of the bond would plummet. So they don't want cures, you see. Uh, it says the, the medical records that are now available to anyone and everyone who might have a financial interest in your health, the same records about you that you yourself can no longer gain access to in most cases, are for sale to stakeholders, investors, and interested parties. Insurance companies are particularly interested. As we stated in an earlier article, when Obamacare is implemented, it will establish a health score to be applied to your records and updated with each doctor visit. The score will be available to insurance companies with the accompanying medical data that will allow them to determine how much of a risk you pose to the profits they anticipate by insuring you under a hedge fund. Quite something, eh? That's what a real stock market. Stock means cattle, by the way. You know, animals, that's where you sold them. They were called stock. You'll be rated as, as to how much of a risk you represent to the system. This score is being used to determine what and how much health care you are eligible to receive. It's to be rationed, you see. As the bill clearly states, panels will determine what risk you pose to the system and weigh that against the odds you can recover. And if you do, what would be the value of your future contributions to society? Can you keep paying taxes and work? That's what it is. I've been saying this for years. It says, odds not good, off to the dead pool you go. Enter the insurance companies. Your score on these medical records are being used to determine your eligibility to be entered into the dead pool being constructed by life insurance companies. The dead pool is comprised of those in the healthcare system who have disease, diseases such as lung cancer, breast cancer, leukemia, heart disease, or any possible terminal, genetic, or acquired illnesses. Hedge funds are being established where investors in the fund are betting against you and how long you might live with the disease. The hedge fund is projecting your possible life expectancy and betting against you. Now, it's also true the farmers uh, buy these up too because uh, they like uh, long-term diseases. They don't like to, to cure anything because it's not profitable to give a cure out for anything. So they want to treat you for the rest of your lives, you see. That's how it really works. So it says, um, this should affect, the, 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 the solution is that a bond made up of the life settlements would ideally have policies from people with a range of diseases, as I mentioned earlier. It says, this would uh, effectively halt any real research into finding cures for many diseases. Not there's much of that actually occurring anyway. It says, this article is from the New York Times 2009, shows these plans for Deadpool investments are well underway. Uh, it says, anything for a buck right, even in a morbid betting on how long you will live. So I'll put that link up to at cuttingthroughmatrix.com at the end of this evening. Volatility is great for banks and professionals. Volatility is not great for the, uh, the most, uh, most average people. 